Hello everyone, I'm Mason, application engineer of Shelling 3D. In this video, I will show you the scales of opacity markers before scanning in order to have a smooth scanning process and sufficient data. For the 3D scanner belief that we are no longer unfamiliar, but when it comes to the scanning process needs to use accessories, most people should still feel confused. Today, I would like to share with you the knowledge of the opacity markers of 3D scanner. After reading that, I'm sure you will have some understanding of markers. So, there are four questions. What size markers should we use? How to paste the markers? Where should we paste them? How should the small object be pasted? For medium and large objects, we usually put the markers on surface of objects and use markers with appropriate sizes. In some cases, we put different sizes of markers on one object. We provide two different sizes, 3mm and 6mm, to help you handle different scanning projects. Also, knowing how to paste the markers is important. So, what is correct and what is wrong? First of all, markers need to be randomly and evenly pasted on surface. Excessively regular pasting will cause misidentification and misalignment, like these pictures. Secondly, markers should be pasted on a plan or curved surface, affording object features and edges. Otherwise, it will cause incomplete marker and recognition issue. See these pictures. Moreover, to ensure the integrity of the aligned data, there should be no less than four markers around the aligned transition. The currently recognized markers of the software are displayed in red, which are spliced with the previously connected markers to scan the data. Lastly, speak of the distance between markers. The distance can be determined according to the scanning object and the scanning mode. For instance, Using cross line or single line in regular mode, the distance could be between 80 mm and 110 mm. If you are using partial HD mode, it's recommended to reduce the distance. Remember, keep the markers clean and complete. In the scan, there is a distance bar on the left. When the color is green, the distance is optimal, and when the color is red, the distance is too close. Blue means too far. Adjust to the best scan distance according to the color prompt. There is also a light on the device handle that indicates distance. For small objects, all objects contain thin road paths that cannot be transitioned and multiple projects is not applicable. We will put markers on turntable or around it, randomly and evenly, same as the rule we put them on objects. Make sure the scanner can capture at least four markers when the view is zoomed in or out. Okay, hope this video will help you to learn skills about pasting markers. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you.